Ma chérie, oh please don't tell me this is just puppy love Because I must have your love, you see It's a sport and a beauty pageant It's one year on the dog show circuit Where life sometimes feels like it's going to the dogs I your charms are not lost on me This is true puppy love, Sherry. Get up. Walk dog. Feed dog. Go to work. For over six million dog owners in Canada, this is just another January day. But thousands of them are on the road before dawn, heading to small town arenas all over the country. The new dog show season is about to begin. Over the next year, these owners and handlers will spare no expense undergo any hardship to make the world recognize what they already know in their hearts. That their dogs are special. That their dogs are champions. This is Ruby Red. Come be back. Celebrated dog breeder Margaret McConnell shares her home with 40 Pomeranians and one husband. What is my baby? Where's my kids? Where's my kids? Palms don't do well in a kennel or... They've got to be socialized. They've got to be around you. You can see how outgoing they are and how friendly they are. They just love to be loved. Right, Venus? Yeah, I love you too, Venus. Margaret loves the spotlight, and her prized palms keep her there. From Marvlin, I've gone on to show business, then from show business I went into um, horses, and then from horses drifted into cattle. So I've always had that competitiveness. Okay, kids. Margaret works the night shift at a car seat factory to feed and house the palms, but she never works Friday through Sunday. That's show time, Buzz's time. Okay, let's get the back molars. As you see, he really doesn't mind it. We're getting Buzz ready for a show that he's in tomorrow. In the show ring, he will give me 110%. Hey, Buzz. Last season, he was the number six Pomeranian in Canada. Margaret hopes for an even higher finish this year, so he can go for his U.S. championship. You want the girl? Buzz wants Margaret the girl. wants a win. Buzz just wants to mate. You want the girl? This is where we breed. So he thinks he's also going to be... have some fun. Quincy, soccer ball. Interior design executive Ann Sony has her hands full with just one dog. I have uh, him on a natural diet, raw diet, which consists of whole natural uh, raw foods and bones. Anne wants Quincy to win a Canadian championship title, but her purebred schnauzer has some unresolved issues. He's on um, a variety of different uh, homeopathic and uh, natural vitamins, kelp, alfalfa, vitamin C. Um, that oh, seems to help treats. the adrenal glands and um, overall chill him out a bit. <laughs> Boy, Quincy want, can be want, one good. dominant pet. Yes, thank you. No. Allison Alexander gives Bo the boxer a pedicure. He's one of 15 dogs she'll be showing this year, but she doesn't own a single one. Instead, she shows other people's dogs. Well, I've had show dogs since I was seven and I worked for a professional handler since I was 12, and then I've been showing dogs as a professional handler since 1987. So I think that's 15 years, although I don't really like to tell people I've been doing this for 15 years. It's kind of like a jockey. I take the dog, I train it, I condition it, and I show your dog for a fee. 
Um, I thought I wanted to be a vet, but I thought about it and I thought if somebody came in and wanted me to put their dog down because it peed on the floor, I wouldn't be able to do that. It's competitive, I like the competition, I love dogs, you get to travel. The only thing now that I have a son, being away from your home three nights a week is hard, really hard. Falling, falling. Well-heeled owners pay pros like Allison up to $3,500 a month to board, groom, and handle their prized dogs. This year, Allison is showing her masterpiece of scissoring, Gabriel. The other big star in her stable is David, an American Cocker Spaniel. David's owner, Beverly Evans, is coming to the show tomorrow. John Marshall, Allison's boyfriend and business partner, wants everything to be perfect. Everybody had said, you know, you're gonna have a hard time showing for Beverly. People only last three, four months, and then she gets rid of them. So we didn't know what to expect. Cocker people are a little different. It's like shepherd people. They're not right or wrong. I'm not saying that. They're just a little different than anything else. So she's always had cocker handlers in the States, and she's very specific. She wants things done a certain way. The pressure is on. As the season progresses, Allison will have to work hard to keep this important client. To prepare Quincy for his first show of the year, Ann Sony takes him to professional groomer Leslie Weeks. Leslie, <laughs> but uh, his coat's looking good, Leslie. What do you think? Okay. She wants to leave, but Quincy can be unpredictable around others. Okay, you want me to stand back? Yep. Okay. Thanks, Leslie. Bye. -bye. Bye. Enjoyed the day. Thanks, you look great. great day. I like your cap. <laughs> Before Leslie can even start to groom, she has to calm Quincy down. That's it. No, relax, relax. Now, I'm gonna win, right? I'm gonna win. You can't do this on the weekend. No, 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 no. Now, your mom doesn't make enough money for plastic surgery. So we got to cool it. I know. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK, baby. Well, what you want to do is bring out the best features of the animal. In Quincy's case, he has a lovely neckline. He's got a very broad chest on him. He's got amazing shaped eyes for the breed. It's dark in color. His nose is black. These are all features of the head that we're trying to really bring to the judge's attention. Quincy here is my great grandson. He is related to my top winning best in show standard schnauzer. His name was Gusto and Gusto has been producing wonderful champions even though he's passed on. We have sperm that is frozen in Pennsylvania and is still used for stud services today. If he does win, it will be based on pure body structure and movement, which he aces in. Okay, Boise, you ready? You ready to conquer? Several shows are taking place across the country on any one weekend. Margaret prepares to launch Buzz's season at a show close to home. Buzz, Buzz, where's the girl? There's no girls here, right? No girls? So he's got no girls to distract him. He loves that word, girls, right? You love that word, girls. Hello, sweetie, have you got any of the uh, small black leashes? Small who? Black leash for him. Strings. How about white? No, I need black. Well, I'll take a white one and it'll get dirty in 10 minutes. It'll be black. I mean, white one. 
I'll take a white then. I do have white on. Black would have looked better. That's a real fine one, so. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, 725. For a piece of string. 725. The leash is all in one. So it doesn't choke him and it's just gentle on his uh, neck. What I would prefer to use without a leash because you're showing the dog as he really is and not holding him up. Mm -hmm. As I said, you know, he's a very special boy. But you won't believe it until you see him in the show ring, the way he comes to life. In the dog show world, prizes aren't in cash. It's the high of the points, the ribbons, and prestige that owners and handlers are hooked on. If you win, the good thing is, the upside is, you get championship points and you get to compete for a best in show. However, if you lose, the upside is you get to go home and go do all the other things or just play with your dogs that are at home. So there, are, there, there is an upside to losing. We were hoping for best bitch. <laughs> We didn't get it. <laughs> no. So we've got Tigger, this one of his favorite stuffed animals. He likes that in the crate with him at the show. Today is also Quincy's show, first show of the year. Crates, Anne wants him to win, and she's not taking any chances. On. I put in his um, crate this canine calming spritz. It's made with um, Bach flower essences, and it has an amazing effect on um, on animals and people um, to uh, just calm and uh, help uh, help balance emotions. Quincy, are you going to show Quincy? Quincy. Anne lacks the skills to show Quincy herself. She leaves that to pro handler Elaine Piquet. Hi, Elaine. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. Big day. My husband and I are off to work. <laughs> And we'll be picking him up uh, about 2.30, I would assume. Yes, OK. You're going to do well. You're going to win. A win for mommy. Yes, OK. I got your treats. I'll put Tigger in the crate. Spray my essences. Okay, you be good. I'll see you later. You win, okay? Lane's gonna see you soon, okay? Oh, kind of sad leaving him, but he'll be all right. He's not barking, so obviously he's settled down. He's calm, and uh, we'll see how the day goes. Bye. Over at the Elgin County Show, David's owner Beverly Evans has arrived. He's just getting the hang of it, like every oh, day. Oh, he's just moving better every day. Oh, David, David, you're so beautiful. She owns one of the largest Ford dealerships in the world. My very first Cocker Spaniel was given to me by Mr. Ford when I was uh, in 1939. Needless to say, I was very young. <laughs> so it was a little black and white Cocker Spaniel. And Cookie traveled everywhere with us. Uh, Beverly always sits ringside. And it's usually, like, not the ring that we're in. It's usually, like, one ring over or kind of away from everybody. She can concentrate better. And she hides from David, too, because sometimes he'll catch her. You know, and if his eye and his head will turn, and that's why I can't talk ringside, because I get in trouble by Al. David is ready for the ring. In a few minutes, he will be competing under Beverly's watchful eye. Right now, uh, we've still got about 35 minutes for the ring. Just going to give him a fluff up. Buzz has a reputation already, and everybody loves Buzz. So he's got a chance to get a piece of the group today. Oh, Buzzy. Oh, Buzzy boy. Buzz is showing in the toy group, and Margaret is hoping he places in the top three. So, yeah, there's a lot of things go through your mind. You're excited, you're nervous. There's so many things goes, goes on. 
The worst thing is you want to go to the washroom, but you don't. He wants to go to the washroom. Just hang on on the palm. Clean up. Need a clean up. Good boy. You ready to go now? He's finished. Quincy enters the male schnauzer ring with his handler, Elaine. Margaret's walking buzz in the toy group ring. Allison and David run the course in the sporting group. All of them play to win, but does anyone understand what they've won? They'll judge dogs, and then they'll judge bitches. And depending on the judge's interpretation of the breed standard, Whichever one comes out to be uh, the best one, and this is the one that gets you the points. So each day you have a different judge um, that sort of picks your dog. Uh, you can do better under different judges on the same weekend. Then the champion dogs go in and they compete for best of breed and best of opposite sex and best of winners. Best of winners is for those uh, male and female animals that compete, and best of winners is the award with the points. Then the winners of the seven groups go on for best in show. There's 560 dogs entered here today and the best in show dog will receive 500 plus points, minus absentees and whatever the numbers were from the, the breed dog that got there. So now that the rules are clear, how are the dogs doing? Quincy handles the ring walk easily but his aggression flares up as soon as he feels an unfamiliar touch. It's a good thing Elaine keeps a tight grip. Take them both around, please. The competition is thin, but so are his chances. He's up against Watson, the reigning champion. The best to breed, sir. We showed good. He did? He showed really good. Watson won the breed, though. Okay. Too bad there's no competition. Okay. There you are. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Okay. I didn't get any points today. The one that I was hoping to get, I didn't get. Watson took it. That's okay. We'll just uh, keep uh, showing till we finish him. Allison is completing David's showing in the sporting group. His owner looks on as he gets the yellow ribbon. Third place. She's not pleased. Not what Allison hoped for at David's first show. Margaret will be thrilled with any ribbon. Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So this is a third group ribbon, so he took a piece of the group. I just love the dog shows. Heel, heel. Anne has returned home more determined than ever to help Quincy with his issues. Over here. Good boy. Lynn McKenzie is coming to the house. I've never met her before. We've only talked on the phone. She is an animal communicator and energy healer, and uh, she has been doing amazing work with Quincy and myself um, as far as um, helping me to understand his uh, 
protectiveness. Hi, nice to meet you. We've talked on the phone for so long. Right. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Allison and her team have begged, bribed, and bullied, fluffed, feathered, and feted 14 dogs today. It's finally star poodle Gabe's turn in the ring. He's into product. A lot of product. I think part of the thing that makes Gabriel such a great dog is that he thinks he's great. So, I mean, it's just like anything else. If you think you're great, you're going to be great. And if you're gonna look like this, you better be great. Gabe wins best of breed. We won everything, so that was good. It's an exhausting start for Allison, and there's still a whole year of dog shows to go. Will therapy save Quincy? I'm just gonna work from here, but I'm energetically cupping the crown chakra. And I'm just going to, um, with Quincy. I now open the genetic code. I know I have to be less exciting for this business. I have to be. Will Lorraine, the newcomer, convince Graham, the pro, to, to show her dog Quincy? Quincy settle. Settle. <laughs> Quincy, stop. <laughs> Hold still. Stop. Just hold him there tight. Don't let him move. Mean it. I mean it. <laughs> 